While well, Winnie and I are waiting to wrap our briskets, guess what cookbook Winnie brought out here? So if you guys are not familiar, this is the uh, Rodney Scott's World of Barbecue. Rodney is a world famous pit master and uh, in his book, he makes a special hog seasoning, which is made up of uh, one third cup MSG, one third cup cayenne, half cup of salt, one third cup of red pepper flakes and freshly ground black pepper. And guess what we have done here? We have made our own version of Rodney Scott's hog seasoning. Winnie's got some pork belly, which we're gonna season up one third of it with this rub, and we'll give it a go on her smoker and let you guys know how it comes out. So Rodney likes MSG and uh, for those of you who are allergic, don't watch this episode. Go watch another video. The second one I'm going to do um, Chinese style, five spice powder. It's usually made of five distinct spices, fennel, cinnamon, star anise, sometimes clove, sometimes bay leaves, and pepper. It just depends on the region that you are at. Easiest uh, blend is a uh, half five spice half salt i like my food not too salty so i'm going to do a little bit less than half on salt but i'm going to add white pepper instead i feel like white pepper adds a different level of uh, flavor and i feel like it's not used enough in in cooking for the schmear i'm going to use light soy sauce and if you don't have soy sauce don't worry you can use worcestershire you can use oil you can use Something not too potent. Even Worcestershire is fine, I think. So I'm gonna generously rub this on. Another thing you can add on this rub is a little bit of sugar, but um, I don't want it to caramelize too fast while it's cooking, so I didn't add the sugar. Two down, okay. one more to go. What's your inspiration for the third one, Vinny? Inspiration is Mexican food, Latin food, uh, because I live in Southern California. We have a huge Latin Hispanic population here and a lot of our food is influenced with their flavors. And I actually, uh, my coworkers, they kind of call me Mexichina because I love Mexican food. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of salt. Oh, you can't see in here. Cumin. So when I make seasonings, uh, when I do my blends, I do about 40% salt in volume. Or you could do by, well, I wouldn't do by weight because each uh, seasoning has different weight, but I kind of eyeball it. If you don't want to, you can just use, you know, two tablespoons of salt and then three tablespoons of whatever else you want. So in here I have about two tablespoons of salt, one of cumin, one of coriander, and then I'm going to do one of paprika. I like to use paprika because it has a lot of color but doesn't add too much heat. If you want more heat, you can add cayenne pepper. So I'll just add a little bit of cayenne. For the slurry, I'm gonna use Cholula. This is fairly inexpensive and you can find it at any Mexican market, but I love that it's very acid forward. A lot of Mexican food is very acidic and spicy, which I love. And this is definitely going to kick it up a notch. So for the Mexican inspired pork belly, I'm gonna do three toothpicks because that's the third one. Fat side up. And then for the Chinese inspired pork belly, see, fat side up, I'm gonna do two toothpicks. And for the last one, this is Rodney Scott's recipe, I'm going to do one toothpick. I'm gonna put this on the top Shelf, yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and cut up the uh, pork belly. Okay, so ready for taste test? Alright, Winnie, you want to go first? So let's try this. This is the number one is Rodney, MSG. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. 
Okay, Chinese. All right, definitely good Chinese style and Mexican. Mm. This is the winner. All right, first oh. pass. We're gonna go second pass now. Okay. Alright, we're going to the second pass. And Winnie has some impressions on what she likes. Okay. We'll try again. One more pass. Alright, the five spice next. Mm -hmm. If you like Asian flavors, it's a yeah. good Asian flavor. But if you don't like Asian flavor, that's probably not not it's gonna be a showstopper. You can oh that's a good piece. Definitely I like this. The Mexican flavors. Second would be five spice, mm -hmm. and third would be Rodney's. Although his is very good. Yeah, I, I honestly think that um, I would judge this one first. I like the five spice, really good. So we, kudos to Winnie for her recipe. Uh, I would rate this one second and this one third. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So we're, we're pretty close. Mm -hmm. right? It's a matter of kind of your mood, right? If you feel like a little bit of a Mexican cumin, coriander mood, this one works really well. But if you're in the mood for like some Asian food, that definitely does the thing. This one is very uh, uh, non-offensive. Yes. Right. That's it's the very that, neutral. Very so neutral, but maybe in my opinion, a little bit underwhelming. Nothing wrong with it. It's good food. So Non-offensive, but if you cook it this way, it will probably resonate with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. This one you're taking a chance because people who don't like cumin flavors. They yeah. probably wouldn't go for this one. And it's spicy too. It's a little bit, has a nice kick and nice heat to it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of fragrance from the cumin and coriander. Yeah. So for people who like more, how should I say, more fragrant food, this is definitely a winner. So this would go well with steamed rice, these two. That's true, yes. This one, you would need a sauce, I think. A little bit of a sauce, yes. yeah? A little bit of a Or, medium. you know, this is more of the, uh, how do you say, you, you pair that with something that is more pungent. Maybe a little oh. Carolina style spicy yes. red sauce. Uh, we'll a mop, the mop. vinegar mop. Definitely missing something there. Mm -hmm. um, although it's still very good. It's just underwhelming. Alright, so there you have it folks. Uh, three great recipes shown to you by Pitmaster Winnie from Smoke Queen Barbecue. If you guys like, you can go check her out on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Smoke Queen BBQ. Uh, I have a pop-up and catering business. Uh, we do barbecue almost every weekend. Pop up at uh, cer certain uh, breweries around town. We're based in Orange County, California. Uh, we are usually either doing pop-ups or taking pre-orders for pickups on Saturdays almost every weekend.